Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is 1988's Transformers Generation 1, Overlord. Yes, I finally have my white whale in my hands. And I am just thrilled beyond belief to be holding this guy. Now, this is not my Overlord. This Overlord was lent to me by a subscriber, Nagging Guy. He hit me up on Instagram asking if I wanted to borrow his Overlord to do a review on. And at first, I thought he was joking. I mean, who's going to lend me a G1 Overlord? But by God, here he is in my hands, and I couldn't be happier. I am so thrilled to be holding this guy. The only times I have ever seen a Generation 1 Overlord was at conventions, and he was always behind glass. I've never actually touched one before until now. So, nagging guy, thank you so much. I am just it's beyond words, your generosity, and the fact you trust me with such a rare figure and one that I know has got to be a crown jewel in your collection. Now, Overlord here is such a rare figure because he was never released here in the States, only over in Europe and Japan. He is a power master, meaning he has the two little engines or robots that transforms into engines, which unlock his special features. Overlord here is also a triple changer, or quad changer, if you will. He's a robot that can turn into a jet and a tank and a base. So, now, without further ado, let's take a look at this awesome, awesome figure. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, the first mode we're going to look at is Overlord's base mode, and this thing is long. Here are three Earthrise Prime trailers, just to give you an idea how massive this base is. Now, Overlord's base mode is the same as all the other Generation 1 bases, such as Trypticon, Metroplex, Scorponok, and Fortress Maximus. It's your primary base with a lot of ramps. And of course, you've got all those extra accessories. You've got radar dishes here on top, a gun emplacement right here. Over there is another radar dish and gun. Of course, he's got a few cool gimmicks. He's got this repair arm that's on a hinge and can move around. And it's got a double barrel cannon right there. Now, the ramps don't really clip into place for this base. They just kind of lay down so they're not on there real secure. This Overlord figure also came with a little car, but Nagging Guy said unfortunately he does not have that vehicle, so I've got this little Overlord car that Firetox made me for my Titans Return Overlord, so you can kind of see how the car would have worked with the base. Overlord also came with two Power Masters. We've got Mega and Giga. Now, these guys transform just like any other Power Master. You just simply take the legs and fold up around. 
You've got Mega here with this really cool gold chrome engine and Giga with regular chrome. So these guys look really, really good. Now the whole gimmick with the Power Masters is you plug in these engines to activate features on the figure himself. But this is not my figure, so I'm not going to utilize these like I normally would because I just don't want to break anything on this figure. And I know Power Master clips are quite fragile. But you can use these figures. Say you can man a figure up here on these double barreled cannons or put a figure, say, down here in the repair area. So there's a lot of playability with this base just like every other Generation 1 base. So that's pretty much it for base mode. Now let's get into transformation to vehicle modes. Now the first thing you want to do is remove all the accessories. We've got, let's go ahead and we'll do the ramps first. Like I said, they just lay down on there. You're not going to use this ramp anymore. These bigger ramps will be used in robot mode. We're going to take the cannon right here. Just fold that down and put that away. Let's see, we'll go ahead and take off the radar dish and big gun. We'll put that to the side. This half here, we're just going to take the repair arm, lay that down and inside and remove the double barrel cannon. Place this over here. For the main section, we're just going to take these sections and fold up. Remove the radars. Come on. They actually plug right into his fists. And get that one out. There we go. Remove the Power Master. Fold this gun in and back like so. Now what we're going to do here is this tower piece is we're going to twist this white section around. Just like that. Now, let's see, let's go ahead and transform the jet. We're going to take the hands or the fist, put those down, and just bring the arms down, or the towers, which are also the arms. Bring those down, take these cones, bring those forward. Let's see. And just bring, pull that up and over and push back into place. Fold the wings down, and there we have Overlord's Jet Mode, and that is awesome. Hold on, one thing I forgot to do. Yes, got to push those in. You heard those lock into place. Now we've got Overlord's Jet Mode, and that is so cool. I love it. Man, this guy looks really good. Nagging Guy's got a great figure. He's been very well taken care of. Jet Mode. Looks awesome. I love it. Looks really, really cool. It has landing gear. You've got wheels right there and right there. And I forgot to turn Overlord's face around. So you could actually spin the head 360 or 180 around, but I'm really not, really not going to worry about that right now. You also have the cockpit here that can open. So you can take Mega and lay him down in the cockpit and he's flying off into battle. He doesn't sit, he just flops down in there. A really cool looking jet. Reminds me of the Cobra Night Raven. That thing is so cool. So there is Overlord's jet mode. Put that to the side, and now let's transform the tank. We actually have these two pieces here. You're gonna fold the ramps up and this gray section over. So there's one, same thing over here, ramp up, gray section over. So we've actually got two tank halves right there. And we need this extra piece over here on the side, which is the tank barrel. So now we want to get the barrel lined up like so. And then we just take the tank and Get it squeezed together. There we go. And there is Overlord's tank mode. It's your basic tank. It looks really cool. Unfortunately, 
The turret does not move and the barrel, well, the barrel can go up and down. There are wheels so it can roll along. And of course you can put Giga in the tank right here at the top. Hatch opens up, he lays down and there you go. Now I forgot right there's a port where you can take this radar dish right here actually fits on top. So there you go. Now you have the tank complete. So on the jet, what you're supposed to do is same thing, power master port right there. You can place this double barrel gun. There we go. So we've got that going on. So there you go, guys. There is Overlord's tank and jet mode. Now comes the fun part, whoops. Transforming into robot mode. Now robot mode, we're going to take the extra accessories off. Let's go ahead and we'll put the tank out of the way and we will transform the jet first. And what you wanna do first off is you're gonna pull out and remove the nose cone. It just pops right off like so, put that to the side. You've got Overlord's face right here. Here's these arms. Take these hip sections down. Now, what you would do is put the Power Master in right here. Like I said, I'm not going to do that. You put in the Power Master and it activates these little buttons right here. And what that does, hit the button, it unlocks the wings where I pushed those up earlier. That way the arms can now fold or rotate forward. Pop the fists out just like so. And that's pretty much it for Overlord's upper body. Place that over here to the side. And now we'll bring out the tank. Go ahead and take the Power Master out. And just like before, you would put the Power Master in this port right here to, act, to press down on those buttons. But I'm gonna do it with my fingers. You press down and that enables you to pull the tank apart. Otherwise, it's locked in place. You're gonna take this barrel and put this to the side you don't need that again. Now to transform these halves into Overlord's legs, pretty much that's it. You're gonna slide it forward these little purple sections, which are the feet, just like so. You got your right and left leg. There's a little port right there. Just pop that into the body, upper body of Overlord. So there we go. Now you're gonna take the ramp pieces, these bigger ramp pieces, and just match these up. See, there's a peg and a hole. You wanna match up accordingly here on the sides. Let's see, there we go. That one and that one. And now I'm gonna to have to adjust my camera. Now we're gonna take the nose cone of the jet. There's a hole right there that'll match up to this port right here. Just lock that in. So there's his arm shield. And then you've got his big cannon. And there you have Overlord. Let me see if I can get him all in shot. Behold, Overlord in all of his glory. This is a big, beefy, beautiful bot. Unfortunately, He's also quite a brick, just like a lot of G1 figures. Moving him in a little closer, the only articulation he has, the head can do a complete 360, the arms can do a complete 360 as well, and they're on ratchets, which is great. Down here on the legs, the hips can move forward, thanks to transformation, and that's really about it. He does have quite a few gimmicks, though. Let me get him over here where we can see is right here on the chest, if you open these flaps up, let me move the arm out of the way. They're kind of on a spring, they pop right out. But you open these flaps up, which reveal Power Master ports. So what you would do, you would take one of your Power Master engines, or both, you can actually have a port for both, plug these in to activate special features. So if we plug in one on this side, watch right there, a double barrel cannon pops out. How cool is that? Let me zoom in so you guys can see. 
push that down. You hit the button. That's awesome. It's got a cannon right there. Those are spring loaded. I dig it. And then over here on this side, you put in your Power Master and those spring loaded missile pods pop out. That is so cool. Let me get those popped back in. Shut the flaps. Another gimmick Overlord has is his gun right there. I actually discovered it can fire missiles. This one did not come with a missile, but according to Google, you can use Metroplex missiles. So let's see, plug that in. There we go. Let's check out the firepower. Oh yeah, that works really, really good. And let's see, get those cones flipped back. But there you go, guys. There is Overlord in robot mode. Man. I love this figure. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is 1988's Generation 1 Overlord with Generation 1 Megatron, Titan's Return Overlord, and Fans Hobby Double Evil. 1988's Generation 1 Overlord is a great toy, a fantastic robot mode, awesome vehicle modes, and a fairly decent base mode. The base mode is about my only complaint with the figure. I wish the ramps would secure everything a little bit better. I mean, one false move, everything comes tumbling down, but his main draw is the two different vehicles and the robot mode, and I love it. I don't have enough good things to say about this figure, and I have a horrible feeling that I'm going to be spending some big bucks before too awful long. So there you go, guys. Transformers Generation 1 Overlord. So, does the Transformers Generation 1 Overlord belong in your collection? Absolutely. Can you afford one? Probably not. This is a great figure. He's solid. He offers tons of playability. And I can't believe he was never released here in the States. And that's such a shame because this guy is great and I really wish more people could get him for their collection. As I noticed yesterday when I was actually pricing some of these, the cheapest one I found complete is around $600, and that's a hefty price tag for something to put on your shelf back there. So maybe one of these days I will actually have one on my own, but I've got to give a huge shout out once again to Nagging Guy for lending me his Overlord. This is a beautiful piece. Man, you've taken such good care of it. He looks spectacular. Man, he looks like he just came out of the box. So thank you so much. I am eternally grateful for you letting me experience a G1 Overlord. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. And I want to give another big shout out to my newest Patreon, Matthew Covello. Matthew, thank you so much for joining Patriot Prime's army. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hooah!